Welcome back to Movie Health Community, the internet's number one source of health warnings at the movies. Today we're talking about Civil War, the new A24 movie by Alex Garland. But before we talk about whether this movie's any good, let's talk about if this movie is safe for photosensitive audiences. The answer is... A lot of this movie is safe for photosensitive audiences. The final action sequence absolutely is not. A lot of this movie follows action during war that does not involve gunfire, but then some of the action sequences do involve rapid firing firearms. These do create strobe effects, and in the final action sequence of the movie, this is all happening at night. But these automatic weapons are the only risk related to photosensitivity in the movie Civil War. So we are giving Civil War a seven out of 10 for flashing lights. Some of the camera work is a little bit shaking and handheld to look like actual war footage, but that's not very common. These shots don't last very long. Now there is a lot of bloody and very realistic war violence in this movie. Even though this is a fictional setting, the war violence feels very real. There's a scene where there's an older person driving a car in this, this scene does not last long, but in this scene, there is a very realistic vomiting episode from a young woman. That's something to watch out for. Now, is Civil War any good? This is one where I had to prevent myself from watching any other reviews of this movie because I wanted to go into this one as blind as possible. I had a lot of presuppositions. Like, the main one about this movie was that it would give an explanation of where exactly the United States fell apart and who initiated the Civil War. And it never does that. We don't need exposition in this movie, at least not a ton, because all we're doing is we're following a small group of people who are living in this world. And that's the kind of production of an epic scale at a smaller scale that made Signs as good as it was. That movie is a terrific alien invasion movie, but it really only takes place in the middle of nowhere following one family as they experience this thing. Civil War does the same thing. We are not there to hear the geopolitical struggle that led to where they are or the military strategies that are trying to be employed to make changes. All we're there for is to follow these photographers as they go around documenting what's going on during this war. And a little bit of exposition that tells what their mission is. Jesse Plemons is in one scene of this movie and he absolutely steals every second of screen time that he has, even from his own wife. This movie felt like it was made by somebody who truly loves the art of film and just loves doing what they do. So that's why it's kind of weird to hear Alex Garland talking about how this is going to be his last movie, that he's lost the joy of filmmaking. This movie didn't feel like it was made by someone who's lost the joy of filmmaking. I, I hope what Alex Garland is saying about retiring is not a permanent thing. But if that's what he chooses to do, more power to him. I just wish it were for better reasons than what he's saying. And this movie was, was pretty good. In not focusing on the action throughout most of the movie. It does get a little slow at times, but overall it's a good time at the theater and a good time to think about one of the most dangerous professions in the world, wartime photography. So I am going to give Civil War a B plus. Thank you so much to our readers on Tumblr and Facebook. And as always, an extra special thanks to our patrons over on our Patreon page, whose names are scrolling on the screen like credits right now. As a reminder, nothing produced by Movie Health Community is medical advice, nor has any of it ever been reviewed by any medical professionals. Be sure to leave a like on this video, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when we post new videos, and leave a comment if you have anything to add to this discourse, especially if you disagree with anything I've said. We love hearing from you. And as always, stay safe at the movies.